the city of Los Angeles would never, or any major city, would never allow a racetrack to be built in the middle of its proper area. Um, they just wouldn't be able to get a, a release. There, you know, there's too many people too close. Ascot was here before the area was developed around it. And that's why Ascot was here. Ascot was here in 57. There was nothing around here. There was there were very few houses. And in those days, it didn't matter if there were houses around. We're building a racetrack. We're going to go race, and it didn't matter. Nowadays, it's quite different. When you saw Ascot Park, you saw the name, and you saw a couple of palm trees next to it, you knew Ascot Park was Southern California, and you knew that it was one of the best places to race in the country. There was a guy named Evil Knievel out of Butte, Montana, that knew this. He knew not only the top open wheel racing was here and nationally televised, he knew some of the top national championship motorcycle races were here. So Evil made it his business to try and get on television. In fact, his first televised jump was during one of J.C. Agajanian's national championship races, and it was right here behind that light pole. The track is located in Gardena on Vermont at about 182nd Street. We brought a lot of fame to the city of Gardena and it was our pleasure to do that. And our last race was on Thanksgiving night, 1990. I was there and it was a very sad evening. There were a lot of racers and fans that didn't want to leave this property because they didn't want Ascot to be over. You know, there'll never be another Ascot and there'll never be another Ascot because it was in the middle of the city. In fact, Ascot was where the harbor, the San Diego and the 91 freeways explode. That's what we used to say on the commercials and, and it was true. Three main freeways, a half mile racetrack in the middle of the city, it'll never happen again.